if you can find bliss within yourself, nothing is impossible. Mm. It's not a supper fest. It's not mind over matter. The mind has nothing to do with it. It's all about the heart. All of the examples that you're giving around the running, the Navajos, the Japanese monks, these are all incredibly important metaphors. You know, may not be putting your life on the line, but we all are. We're all on a path that ultimately ends in death. So it's no real difference to what you're talking about here. But is there a way that we can practically take this wisdom and impart it on the Western world in a, I guess, a structured way where we can go, I guess I could, I could do that. If you can give me some, some things to follow, I can, I can follow the breadcrumbs. There are, are so many ways to say we are our own worst enemies. Yeah. And most of that has to do with overthinking, overstressing. There's too much happening between our ears. And there's not enough happening here. So it's the idea of shifting from being a more mind-focused culture to a more heart-focused culture. And it's not the negation of the mind. It's not trying to become like complete imbeciles. But most of us have a very developed mind, mm -hmm. and we're feeding that mind daily, constantly. We're not feeding our heart. And what does it take to feed the heart? It takes two things. It's consciously focusing on feeling. It's like we've all had experiences of feeling deep, pure emotions or sensations. Exercises to expand the heart focus on getting in touch with those feelings on a more regular basis. That has to do in part with learning how to quiet your mind. And when it comes to athletics, when it comes to life, and you're being challenged in a situation, you have more than one tool. It's like, do I want to analyze? Well, yeah, if, you, if that's your job. But it's like in a situation where you don't have to analyze, can you bring out the power of the heart? Can you bring out that sense of like, I can get through this if I'm calm. Now, when it comes to athletics, like Kenyans will say, you have to run dumb, D-U-M-B. Mm. You start stressing over stuff like, oh my God, like my shoes are too tight. You start tightening, you start tightening, you have bad form, you have bad form, you start getting strains, you start getting strains, you lose all your power and your result sucks. If you're loose in the head, nothing's holding you back because nothing's on. You turn this off when you're in an intense physical activity, you get more out of it. The mind has fear in terms of the negative side of things. The mind has fear. The mind has hesitation. The mind has doubt. When you're running and you're racing, it's like you've got to react. You've got to flow. You've got to understand how to minimize problems that you have. And like you said from, from the movie, it's like those are metaphors for life. It's like when you get to an intense issue or intense period of your life, how much do you really need the mind? Mm. And how much do you need other things inside you? If you don't have access to those other things inside you, you're not going to have access to solutions. Mm.